Hey there young lovers, it's Gary and I'm coming to you from my living room here in Vancouver, Canada. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is Tuesday, July 20th, 2021 and this is video number 117. So it's been a whole week since I updated you on my last podcast. So I thought I'd jump in here real quick to talk about some acquisitions that I made. Now this particular video is going to be dedicated to uh, order that I put online with Weed Crochet and it was back in June 23rd and it arrived to me two weeks after the purchase and it's been with me for about I don't know maybe 10 days two weeks and I have to pack it away into a tote so that it can get ready to be moved to our new location in September. So I thought seeing I have it out now and I don't know where it's gonna end up in a box in against the wall and then sort of barricaded with other boxes, I might not get a chance to show you. So I'm gonna jump in here real quick and show you this fingering weight yarn that I purchased from We Crochet. Now, if you're happening to be here for the very first time and visiting, hi, my name is Gary. I wanna welcome you. I'm the host of Urban Yarn. I've set this channel up to talk about all of my yarny adventures. So that is in knit, crochet, I dabble a little bit in hand dyeing as well, nothing on a huge scale. And I also talk about acquisitions where I buy my yarn and my crafting tools from, flagging either sales that I find either online or in store uh, to help out my fiber friends if uh, they don't know about them. So if that kind of thing is of interest, please stick around. To my fiber friends who are returning, I wanna say welcome back. And a big thank you to all of the comments of congratulations to me and my husband, Chad. I call him hubby. Um, so we purchased a place and we will be moving in September. So I wanna say thank you for all of the kind messages. So what can I tell you about We Crochet? I'm not affiliated with We, we Crochet and its counterpart, Netpix. So if you've visited either sites, you'll see that they offer the same kind of product. There are a lot of crossovers with uh, what they offer on each of the sites. The main difference why I sometimes buy from We Crochet instead of Nitpix is that their threshold on free shipping, you have to reach a certain uh, cost in your shopping cart or your order to, uh, to kind of like get that free shipping. So I'll sometimes purchase all of my stuff from We Crochet. It's a little higher on Nitpix. Uh, there are sometimes different gifts if they are giving gifts for reaching a certain amount of your order. Uh, so that's uh, also a good thing to keep uh, consideration of. If you are shopping, check, always check out whether there's going to be a free gift if you've reached that, because that free gift normally has a code that you put out into the coupon code at checkout to make sure that you get that free gift. This particular order, that I'm going to be showcasing. Uh, it did take about two weeks to get to me from the US, I guess that's where they ship everything from, to my door here in Canada. And it cost me $7. I didn't quite have enough. I had like $20 to spend or something to get the free shipping, but I decided to um, pay for the shipping of $7. And I had, uh, made already such a great savings on the fingering weight sale that we, uh, we crochet was having so uh how did it ship it came in a plastic bag like this but on previous orders that i've made from we crochet they've had it in boxes as well i guess it just depends on how much you uh, have in at the point of your your purchase and uh, what's best for them to to pack it in when it comes to you. So sometimes it's in bags. If it's small, generally it might be a bag and sometimes in boxes if the order is a bit bigger. So I bought two collections uh, and the first one was from uh, the Hawthorne Fingering Weight Maltese. Now, when I purchased, I think I might've said this in the opening part of the video, we Crochet was having a fingering weight sale and it happened to be on the week that I had made this purchase. So it was good timing. 
and it's the Hawthorne series, Fingering Weight. It's in their multis, multis being like multicolor. And the second collection that I purchased from was from their Kettle Dye. So this one is from the multis and the colorway is called Mount Scott. In each skein, you get 100 and, uh, sorry, 100 grams and you get 357 yards per hank. So really, really love that color. They're classifying it as a wet one weight, which is the fingering weight. And the breakdown of this is 80% superwash fine highland wool and 20% polyamide. It is machine washable in cold water and you can tumble dry this on low. And on the back side of the labels, you can see that there are, there is that affiliation between Knit Picks and We Crochet. Just the two logos there on the tag. Absolutely love this colorway is just stunning. It blends from all these different styles of green. So we have more of the yellowish greens, emeralds going into more of a tealish green here or a more bluish green. Really, really nice. Now it doesn't have a sheen on it. The twist to it is quite a nice medium twist and you can actually see some of the bare yarn under there. It's not a full saturation, so you do get to see a little bit of the natural color of the yarn poking through. And what helps that, I believe, is the style of twist that this yarn has. Very, very, like, I'm gonna say, quite a noticeable, a noticeable kind of like twist there. Very, very nice. Now, if you had um, any adverse effects to wearing wool, this probably would not be the yarn for you. Uh, but for me, it is a little rustic, but I would find that this would be fine against my skin with no undergarments required. So yeah, very, very nice yarn. It is made in Peru. Now, the costs that I'm going to give you are in US dollars. So this yarn, if you buy it without the discount that I got it for, is $13.99. But with the sale that I had purchased the yarn from, it did bring it down to $8.39. So it's a savings of $5 per hank. So I got that one. I also got this one here, which is called Lentz, L-E-N-T-S more of the smoky greys and again you see the breaking of the yarn beneath like the natural dye uh, the natural uh, bare yarn really really nice kind of gives it that lovely tonal play on the dye and here's another one here it is called Irvington lovely colors there this electric blue and more of a dusty blue really really nice colors i i was thinking when i was purchasing these colorways of matching them so i'll show you what i'm thinking of in the next uh, little bit after i show you everything uh this one here is called spring water it's got that kind of denim wash feel where maybe if you rem if you recall the 80s how acid acid wash jeans or more of the faded jeans were kind of like big uh that's what this colorway remind is reminds me of it's kind of like a strong saturation there of more of the color really nice the next three that i'm going to show you are from uh, the other collection, which is the Hawthorne Fingering Weight Kettle Dye. And these also are $13.99 that are featured on the website currently. And I purchased these for $7. So this was a $7 hank. And the colorway of this one is called Poseidon. Really nice green there. And you get the tonals happening with the kettle dye as well 
really lovely. Now, the because it's in a different collection, doesn't mean that the uh, content has changed. It's still the same. It's 80% superwash fine Highland wool and 20 polyamide with the same care instructions as well. So very interchangeable. Um, the two can be interchanged, which is a lovely thing. So here's the last two that I got in the kettle dye. And the colorway is called Midwinter. Really, really nice. So what I was thinking of, and that was $7 as well. All the blues could go together in a, in a item, maybe a faded shawl or some type of shawl or scarf wrap garment really lovely and all the greens or green sort of tinted really really nice those three together to sum it all up i really enjoyed purchasing from their website love the sale that they had on the fingering weight and being a more conscientious kind of purchaser uh, in the end of all of these skeins here now they could work separately on their own for a one hank project or I could combine them together to make a larger project I have been looking at some patterns which allows me a little bit of freedom to choose different colored hanks and uh, different colored yarn for the projects and I'm curious to know if you've ever used the Hawthorne fingering weight from Wee Crochet or Knit Picks and what kind of patterns did you use to uh, put them in? I would love to know whether you, you know, are any of the new knit or crochet patterns that I have never seen before. Uh, I'd love to hear about them so that I can take a look and perhaps maybe try them out with, uh, with this particular yarn. And with that, I think I have caught you up with this particular purchase. I'll catch you up in the next video. I hope you're all doing well. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.